Okay, so after a long period of time, I have come here to discuss about a very interesting topic which is known as the cyclopia. So, the first thing, what is the cyclopia? Cyclopia is a situation in which a baby will born with a single eye. Let's suppose this is a baby, but this baby has born with a single eye. This situation is known as the cyclopia. This boy is consists with two ears, one nose, one lips, but instead of two eyes, this boy is consists with a single eye. This situation is known as the cyclopia. So if you already have seen a person with a single eye, that means he is a patient of cyclopia. Actually, it will not fair if you will recognize him as a patient because cyclopia is not a disease. The first thing which is we have to clear is that the cyclopia is not a disease. The cyclopia is a developmental disorder. It is a developmental disorder which has occurred during your embryonic life. During embryonic life, due to some developmental disorder, you, you will consist with only one eye. Due to this disorder, there will not form two eyes. Instead of two eyes, there will form only a single eye. So now, we have to know that what is the reason behind of this cyclopia? Why a baby will born or a person will born with a single eye? Or what is the reason of this cyclopia? Now, this is the simple things which you already know. A sperm will, when a sperm will meet with the ovum, they will form a zygote. They will form a zygote. Now, let's suppose this is our embryo. Let's suppose this is our embryo and this embryo is responsible for the formation of each and every organ or each and every part of your body. Like this embryo is responsible for the formation of your eyes, for the formation of your nose and for the formation of your ear. In reality, this embryo, the various portion of this embryo is responsible for the formation of various organs in our body which is present in our cranial region, which is present in our thoracic region which is present in our abdomen region and which is also present in our pelvic region. Now, actually this embryo is consist with multiple sites. This embryo is consist with multiple sites. Like, let's suppose this site is responsible for your eye field formation. For your eye field formation. And this site is responsible for your forming formation folding formation and this side is responsible for your heart formation and there are multiple number of sites which is present this embryo and they are responsible for the formation of different organ or the different part of your body now here we have to talk about only about the place which is responsible for the eye field formation because cyclopia is related with your eye now let's suppose this is the field which is responsible for your eye field formation and this is your embryo now this green structure is known as the neural tube this structure is known as the neural tube which is present in your embryo this neural tube is responsible for the expression of OTX2 gene this is a special kind of gene which you will use from the neural tube. So the neural tube is responsible for the expression of OTX2 gene. And the eye field is responsible for the expression of for the expression of Nogin gene. Nogin gene. So eye field is responsible for the expression of Nogin gene and the neural tube is the responsible for the formation of OTX2 gene. Now, the function of Nogin gene, the function of Nogin gene is to stimulate, the function of Nogin gene is to stimulate the neural tube, the neural tube. When the Nogin gene will stimulate the neural tube, the neural tube will release out more and more amount of OTX2 gene. So, due to the stimulation of Nogin gene, the neural tube will release 
release more and more amount of OTH2 gene. Now, when the concentration of OTH2 gene will increase rapidly and when, and when the OTH2 gene concentration will reach into its peak point, the OTX2 gene will inhibit the Nogin gene. The OTX2 gene will inhibit the Nogin gene. This is this inhibition is known as the feedback inhibition. So let me repeat again. This is our embryo, and this portion is known as this portion is responsible for the formation of our eye. And the green portion is responsible. The green portion is known as the neural tube, which is responsible for the expression of OTX2 gene. And our eye field is responsible for the expression of Nogin gene. Now, the function of Nogin gene is to stimulate the neural tube. When the Nogin gene will stimulate the neural tube, our neural tube will release or will express the OTX2 gene. Now, when the OTX2, when the concentration of OTX2 gene will increase more and more amount, it will inhibit the Nogin gene. It will inhibit the Nogin gene, and this inhibition is known as the feedback inhibition. Okay. Now, when the Nogin gene will inactivate, will inactivate by the feedback inhibition of OTX2 gene. Now, it will no longer able to inhibit or stimulate the neural tube. As soon as the Nogin gene will inhibit by the OTX2 gene, now it will not able to stimulate the neural tube. As soon as the neural tube will not stimulate by the Nogin gene, the neural tube will not release more and more amount of OTX2 gene. Okay. Now the another function of Nogin gene, the another function of Nogin gene is to inhibit, is to inhibit the expression of ET gene the expression of ET gene when the Nogin gene will inhibit by the OTX2 gene now the Nogin gene will not able to inhibit the ET gene as the Nogin gene has already deactivated by the OTX2 gene but at the very first step Nogin gene will able to inhibit the expression of ET gene but as now the OTX2 gene will inhibit the Nogin gene, now Nogin gene will not able to inhibit the expression of ET gene. Now as the ET gene will not able to inhibit by the Nogin gene, now the ET gene will produce a special kind of gene, ET gene will express a special kind of gene which is known as the RX gene. The RX is also known as retinal homeobox. This is also a special kind of gene. Now, the RX gene will express a special kind of gene or stimulate a special kind of gene which is known as the PAX6 PAX6 gene. This PAX6 gene is known as the paired box 6 gene. This is actually a Hox gene and it will form in the 11th number chromosome of each and every human or mammals. Actually, the PAX6 gene is present in all phylum. That means in vertebrate and invertebrate, both of them have the PAX6 gene. That's why the PAX6 gene is also known as the universal gene. So this will found into the 11th pair of chromosome. 11th pair of your chromosome. The PAX6 gene will be found in the 11th pair of your chromosome and this gene is known as the universal gene as it will found both vertebrate and invertebrate anyway. Now when the PAX6 gene will come out due to the action of RX gene, it will start it to secrete 6-3 gene, SOX2 gene and it will also secrete some gene like TSH gene sorry not TSH tall gene so again the Nogin gene has inhibited by the OTX2 gene now the Nogin gene will not able to inhibit the ET gene as soon as the ET gene will not inhibit by the Nogin gene the ET gene will start to produce the RX gene and the RX gene will start to stimulate or the produce the PAX6 gene and PAX6 gene will release 
3 gene and SOX2 gene and the tall gene and there are multiple number of gene which will release by the X6. Now after the whole mechanism, after the whole mechanism, there will form, there will form a single eye field. After the whole mechanism, there will form a single eye field. Now you may think that if after this whole mechanism there will form a single eye field then if we run the same mechanism in a different field then maybe there will produce a, another eye and due to and by this process there will form two eye field in human but this is wrong after the formation of single eye field single eye field there will express a special kind of gene this gene is the main player to convert this single eye field into two eye field so what's the name of this gene? The name of the gene is SH2 gene or SHH gene, sonic hedgehog gene, SSS gene. This gene is known as sonic hedgehog gene. This gene will interpret between the PAX6 gene, between the function of PAX6 gene. As the sonic hedgehog gene will interpret between the PAX6 gene, it will divide bilaterally this single eye field into two eye field it will divide sonic hedgehog gene will divide this single eye field into two eye field and finally we will get two eye field in human so this is how from a single eye field we will get our two eye field but in case of cyclobia in case of cyclobia all this mechanism will run you out but the expression of sonic hedgehog gene is not present is not present all this mechanism will run on and they will form a single eye field but due to the lack of expression of sonic hedgehog gene the single eye field will not divide into multiple or sorry into into the two numbers of eye field due to this reason a baby will born with only a single eye field instead of two eye field so this is what's the reason that why a person or a baby will born with a single eye field this is due to the lack of sonic due to the lack of expression of sonic hedgehog gene so thank you very much for watching my video i think this much is sufficient to know about the cyclopia and what's the reason of this cyclopia thank you